Our next presentation recognizes Pearlside Boxing's Operation Blessing Basket, a truly outstanding community service project. This presentation is made by Council Member Pine. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Council Member Pine. Thank you so much, Chair. You know, one of my favorite times of the year is Christmas here at Honolulu Holly. It's hard to walk through all the Christmas displays and be grumpy. <laughs> so it's great to, that we're reminded that this is supposed to be a wonderful and happy time of the year. But sometimes you can get caught up in all the traffic jams and rushing to the store to get that 50% off sale item or get all your different gifts for different people. And you kind of sometimes forget what this season is all about. And there's one family that's reminding us what Christmas should really be about, and that is Aichi and Robin Jumawan. Thank you so much for coming today. They are founders of Pearlside Boxing Club, a sports ministry outreach of Grace Bible Church in Kapolei. For the last four years, they have led Operation Blessing Basket, giving food and necess necessities to those in need. I just watched a video this morning of last year's giveaway where they loaded a truck of bags of food and other items such as blankets and toiletries and drove around town looking for those in need. They gave hugs to those on the side of the street and they gave much needed items to the homeless. I watched as a man who was sad and alone and dirty at a darkened street corner approached by these crazy happy people each one of them gave him a hug, one after the other. And they gave him food and a basket of gifts, and suddenly his spirits were lifted, and he was smiling again. And he asked if he could say our prayer with all of them to thank God for them, because he really needed what they gave him that day. This is what Christmas should really be about. As Robin said, 2,000 years ago, there was no Macy's, no eBay, no Amazon, no Wii, no iPhone. Just God's gift of his son Jesus, born in a manger, and shepherds and wise men celebrating his birth. This baby Jesus is the real reason for this season. He came to love people and change their lives. We pray that our efforts honor him. While the Jumanwans always gave to those in need, Operation Blessing Basket started in 2011 when Robin went to Ross to buy a fleece blanket for a homeless person that she had befriended on the street. And the cashier herself had commented how she wished she could buy her mom the same blanket for Christmas, but she couldn't afford one. It turned out that her mom was in a nursing home in Kapolei where there were several residents there who had never had any visitors come to visit them or receive any Christmas gifts. Thus started a mission for Robin to take care of these residents as well as some of the homeless persons that she always saw throughout her lifetime. Operation Blessing Basket was established as an extension of the Ministry of Pearlside Boxing of Kapolei and now helps the elderly in the nursing home in Kapolei, U.S. Vets Homeless Shelter in Barbers Point, the homeless on the beach, and families in dire need of basic necessities in life. They are continually inspired by the people that they meet and help. Like Josie and her boyfriend Dion, who worked so hard to find jobs but faced setbacks along the way, they struggled to make ends meet with their four children ranging from ages one to five years old. But on Christmas Eve, they were given bags and bags of food and Christmas presents, and they all were crying in thankfulness. A homeless family of six were, uh, were living in a car just outside a government building in Kapolei and was blessed with hot food, groceries, toiletries, toys, and clothing. Two families from Makakilo and Waipahu were helped with medical and electric bills that were past due. A widow from the Big Island and her husband operated a small business, but when he suddenly died, the business failed and she was left with major medical bills and debts. She was living alone and destitute. She received food and other necessities until she was get found a job. Or another woman whose house was broken right before Christmas, broken into, and was blessed with replacement items. Or the ex-military single dad struggling who received gifts for himself and his, mom, his son and the pa cancer patient blessed with a warm Afghan sweater and gifts to cheer her up during chemo treatments. Over 30 homeless individuals were ministered to and blessed with hugs, towels, toiletries, food, and restaurant gifts, as well as the delicious hot 
restaurant gift certificates, as well as hot meals lovingly prepared by their members, Sharon and Chavez Victoria, and Shannon Putnam from the Hop Whip Grill in Kapolei. So members and audience, let's live like the Jumawans. And remember that during our busy days in the holiday season, that there is someone out there that just may need your help. So don't pass them by. So give and give and give, and you will find true joy this holiday season. So now, therefore, the Honolulu City Council takes great pride in recognizing Pearlside Boxing and their annual Operation Blessing Basket, which touched the lives of those struggling with gifts, prayers, hugs during the Christmas season and for improving the quality of life of our Leeward Coast residents. And we extend our heartfelt gratitude and aloha for the Jumawans and their extended ohana of Pearlside Boxing for their continued success in all their future endeavors. Congratulations. <laughs>